Hi, it's Resis again, and this is a help video for those of you who are using uh, Smart Bros uh, USB plug it, prepaid plug it. Uh, it's the old one. Uh, I think it was released in 2008. The modem model number is MF627. So yeah, my experience with this one, it was it was very great, you know. And then my OS back then was Windows XP Service Pack 2. But then I upgraded my OS to Windows 7 Home Basic. And when I plugged this in, I found out that the drivers and the firmware wasn't compatible with Windows 7. I browsed the web for any tips or, or know-how on how to install uh, the program for this one. And I found the guides to be back from 2009 and 2010. I tried the troubleshoot compatibility uh, feature of Windows 7 and yeah it did install but the program didn't open so I, I couldn't use it. I couldn't use this. I went over to Smart Communications Help Desk uh, customer service and they also tried to update the firmware or the software or whatever and then yeah they, it still didn't work, didn't open. And that was when they suggested or recommended that I get the new one, the new power plug it, the, those modems with uh, circular, circular LED in the care light. As you can see, the old one, it's this, it's, it's a straight LED indicator light. So yeah, uh, I was reluctant to get the new one because, you know, it, you're gonna shell out money again. Like 1,300 bucks. And when this first came out, I got it for like 3,000 plus. So, ayun, nakapanghinaya. So I was all set to buy the new power plug it, but I thought of why not give it one more try? Why not try to find my own solution? So I went over to the Smart Bro Support website and I downloaded another firmware from another um, modem type. D not not this one. Uh, the new one, the white. I don't know what what model number was it. But stop, here it is, and hopefully you would follow through with the instructions and what I did to make this work. Okay, now the first thing that you gotta do is to go to the Smart Communications website, then go over to this link right here. It says broadband. And here you go, so this is the Smart Bro um, homepage. Now go over again to this link, support. All right, afterwards, go to downloads. Wait for that to load. All right, now you gotta choose devices. And here you go. Now, you will have to choose the starter plug it modem this one and as you can see it's the white um, modem but it's really different as you can see it's E153 modem um, comparing it to the old uh, M627 modem so yeah so press download after downloading it, so here you are, just, you know, unzip, extract, so here you are. There. So there you have it. Um, after extracting the files, I just reconnected this one. Uh, mind you, um, I already installed the the software. This one, the the one bundled with this one, uh, the old software. When I plug this into my computer, uh, the firmware 
uh, just updated in itself. Uh, like my computer found uh, the new drivers, the firmwares, the one that was extracted, the new one. So yeah, after that, I was able to run this, I was able to open this, and I was able to use it. So there. Hopefully, um, I was able to help. Um, leave a comment, video response, any suggestions, um, any experiences with using this one. Um, if you've run into any problems or if you couldn't understand uh, my this video, uh, just leave them there and then hope and I'll try to address them as soon as possible. So yeah, um, mind you, this isn't like a tutorial or a how to do video. Uh, just sharing my experience on how I was able to make this work on Windows 7 Home Basic. So yeah, hopefully I've been of help. See you in the next vlog. Thanks, thanks everyone, and cheers.